Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm. Today we're gonna take a look at a very weird game that I played while landering up as random on the North American server on my barcode account. My opponent in this one is going to be a diamond level Zerg player and I believe at the time of recording this I was like random platinum league or something and I believe after this game uh, I did get promoted to diamond league. So spoiler alert, I will actually win this game, however it's awkward. I've never played a game like this before so hopefully you will be able to maybe learn something from it in the way that how you would deal with weird situations or you may be just having a little bit of fun out of it because this is a really awkward one okay this is a really weird game uh, simply for the fact that I will lose my main base but then still end up winning the game so you'll see what happens you'll see what happens anyways so my opponent right here is playing uh, a zerg player like I mentioned already I am playing random and he's trying to figure out what race I'm playing um, now I told him I'm playing the dirty race which zerg kind of is I mean we're kind of we're kind of gooey and kind of like you know just kind of gross I would not want to stand on the creep I imagine creep would be very slippery to stand on and I would probably be just a, a big ass mess so I figured I'd tell him I'm, I'm the dirty one uh, the reason why I'm not play or telling him my race right away is because I don't want to get 9 pulled or 8 pulled or 10 pulled or whatever and obviously if he would blindly go for like a 10 pool and I would have spawned this Terran and I made a wall off obviously that 10 pool wouldn't have worked so um, I do end up telling him my race if I'm not mistaken I generally tend to do that because I do want to learn the matchups a little bit better uh, but I don't want to be in a situation where I get 9 pulled every single zerk for the zerk that I play just because I I'm playing random so I'm just delaying uh, telling him the race uh, for a little while just so he can safely uh, start with a macro hatchery or or safely with like a, a, a relatively quick hatchery and just a macro game rather than go into cheese but anyhow so I do end up going right here for a hatchery first on the low ground meanwhile my opponent has spawned on the other side of the map right here in the top left corner he already got a spawning pool going up right now and you know in the meantime we are just really playing a standard game I do end up going for the gas guys right there before throwing up the spawning pool and I'm gonna follow that up uh, with a bunch of queens some early zerking speed and all that kind of stuff now obviously since this is going to be me and platinum league right now I'm a opponent is likely I think it was like mid to low diamonds or something like that um, considering that is going on right now I can mess around a little bit I can I can make a bit of a, a silly place I don't need to worry as much about like pulling your drones out of the gas geyser and lining everything up perfectly to you know get the optimum amount of saturation and whatnot and I, I don't need to worry as much about scouting and stuff so I can play a little bit gimmicky, gimmicky right now, and you know you will you will see what happens. It's gonna be awkward. It's gonna be very strange. Um, so yeah, we're just chatting away right now. Uh, that is going to be me asking him why he doesn't trust me because he doesn't trust me that I'm playing Zerk, but now he does actually find out as well. But anyways, uh, so we're gonna make a couple of um, a couple of queens right now. I'm gonna start the Zerking speed and pull the true drones out of the gas geyser, and I should be re rallying right there to the natural. Yeah, I do end up re rallying, and I'm making a set of scouting Zerklings right now as well, either to shoo away that one drone or to actually um, you know just run across the map to figure out what is going on on my opponent's side of the map. So for the meantime, I am just gonna start making a lot of workers, but you can already see on the production tab, my opponent is being a little bit different. He's already started making Zerklings. What could that possibly be for, right? He's got his spawning pool researching plus or metabolic boost, but he pulled the drones out of the gas geyser. Meaning he's 100% dedicated right now to having a single queen injecting, 16 workers and two hatcheries producing larva. So my opponent is obviously gonna go for like a massive all-in with Zerklings, uh, which is not too surprising. This happens a lot right now and it's actually very, very powerful. Uh, but like I mentioned, you know, things don't really go as planned. So I am just, you know, I'm just trying to figure out what is going on, running my Zerklings across the map, having some extra queens out, making my third one right now. And I'm just trying to figure out what is going on right here on this side of the map. I see a couple Zerklings, nothing too surprising. I see a couple more Zerklings and I'm getting a little bit suspicious right now. Because that's kind of strange, but I do end up making a couple more drones and I'm like, oh snap! There's a whole lot of Zerklings on top of his ramp, trying to actually, you know, not panic, not panic, just make static defense, try and make a little bit of a wall off, pull the queens from the main base towards the natural order, one queen rather, make maybe some evo chambers as well to shield off your queens and to get a bit better of, uh, of a surface area, make sure you connect the base with creep, and right now we're just gonna sit here, and make as many Zerklings as we possibly can. But as you can see on the on the minimap, meanwhile, my opponent is already running across the map. I'm gonna have to both shield away uh, my drones right now because they're gonna be in trouble. But in the meantime, I mess up my Queen Micro. I accidentally move my Queens in the wrong direction and he does manage to get inside of the main base. Meantime, meanwhile though, I'm gonna be able to pull these drones out of the main base towards the natural, putting the guys in the natural back to mining as well. And my opponent right now is in the main base. I did make two spine crawlers right now that will be able to actually, you know, deal a little bit of damage to him but in the meantime 
I can actually block this. I already put down a creep tumor, so I can spread some creep towards the main base as well. And I'm gonna have some good vision right there, as well as a bunch of spine crawlers. My opponent didn't really kill all of my workers. If you take a look at the income tab right now, it is 23 Harvesters versus 15. So even though I lost my main base, and there are Zerglings stuck in my main base, I am basically warding them away from my natural. I am basically saying, well, you killed my main base, but I got most of my drones out of there, so I'm just gonna get some gases going, as well as a Roach Ward. Now, important to note, I did start my Roach Ward slightly before the spawning pool got killed. Um, if I would have to remake my spawning pool, it probably would have been a completely different story because spawning pools actually take a significant amount of time, something you don't usually realize, but here we go. I'm just spreading some creep to watch my main base. I should be repositioning one of these spines as well, uh, just to get some more surface area off right there. But I basically have Zerglings in my main base right now, but I got a bigger eco anyway. So right now I am just starting to macro up a little bit. Got my plus one attack going. I should get a lair pretty soon as well. And maybe even expand to watch my third base. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to make my third base my new natural or my new natural expansion. Uh, just to make sure that, um, you know, I'm still having some standard, standard game going on. So in the meantime, my opponent has been making a couple of workers as well. As you can see in the production tab. Right now he's at 21 Harvesters, but I'm still ahead. I have gotten double upgrades going up right now. I'm making an expansion right now as well. And I'm going to go very short up to a lair as well at least I should be I hope I didn't forget about that actually did I maybe I just started making roaches but keep in mind these zerklings right here they're still standing there they are still stuck he made a couple of banelings as well hoping that my queens were caught off guard or maybe not a whole position or anything like that uh, but you know my opponent is gonna be in trouble here he did make a lot more units though we're gonna have to try our very best to defend this uh, but there's plenty of stuff right now there's plenty of stuff he loses a bunch of zerklings right there for practically nothing not killing that one um, not killing that one um, roach that he was target firing right there. And he probably hoped that I would have allowed him to leave the main base and put my queens for that fight as well. But turns out I didn't actually need them. So I am going to remake my spawning pool right now at the 10 minute mark. Standard timing for a spawning pool. And we're going to start killing those things in the main base. Got to make sure I do not lose my uh, zerklings, obviously. Got to pull those guys back again. I'm going to use my roaches for cleaning it up. Now the reason for this is because I do have plus one attack right now. Plus one attack actually... Um, makes it so that you only need to have two shots per roach to kill a zerkling opposed to three shots. Uh, so it effectively makes roaches about 50% stronger versus zerklings. Uh, but I'm just gonna start macroing up. I do have my natural finished up right now as well, and with natural I mean my third base. But I'm gonna be running across the map in the meantime. I'm gonna try my very best to do as much damage to my opponent as possible, and knowing that I very likely had the economy advantage during most of that, I should be ahead right now. But then again, he also had a lot of time to start macroing up drones himself. So let's see what I can do right here. Okay, it looks like there's a couple of banelings right now. Uh, I'm gonna try and pick those off. There we go. Some uh, some decent micro on me. Shouldn't have actually lost that much. But my opponent is actually microing pretty poorly. Yeah, just keeps losing more and more of them. And I'm just gonna move up here. Managed to kill most of the banelings. Let's see if we can get the last one as well. Yes, last one also ends up going down. Plus one, plus one is down. And we are gonna hit him right in the face with plus one, plus one timing attack. After losing my main base. And in the meantime, I think the one thing opponent or important to take away from this, because you can already imagine what happens, is that if you manage to actually make your drones live and not lose all of them, you're oftentimes going to be in a pretty powerful position, simply for the fact that you're going to have more economy on one base than your opponent can have at two bases, as long as there's not going to be more than like 30 workers out. More often than not, you're actually in a pretty decent position. So right now, I am going to attack up to a lair as well. I am going to try and get some more units across the map, using a couple of my roaches to actually kill some workers right there as well, and just dealing as much damage to his army as possible. And he says, wow. My opponent's a bit surprised as well. I'm a little bit surprised as well, and I, I actually lost it during this game. It was, it was absolutely hilarious to me that I managed to win the game, even though I lost my main base. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And other than that, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.